today I'm going to take you on a tour of the biggest attraction in Kyoto. Guess what? Golden Pavilion? No, we're going to Kyoto train station. Don't worry, it's not just an ordinary station. The station building is so colossal. It has hundreds of amazing restaurants and souvenir shops. Many of them are unique only to Kyoto, so you can't miss them. Are they lining up here? They're waiting to use the bullet train ticket machines. I asked the staff and he said it will probably take 30 to 40 minutes. That's insane. What's the point if the passengers are wasting 30 minutes here? My advice is that you should go over to the other side of the train station we can buy it almost right away. Anyway, you have to go over there where bullet trains tracks are located. This is a ticket counter. What's going on there? Let me find out. There are foreign travelers waiting to pick up their Japan railway passes. I think this can double or triple between April and August. Kyoto has become the king of tourism as well as the demon of over-tourism. Look at the roof. The sunlight is coming through it. I think this TV screen is a fall version. It's the first week of December and you can still enjoy autumn leaves. This station is no longer a brand new building. It was completed in 1997. I think it still feels new. I like Kyoto Tower at night. I recommend you use another ticket gate area on the second floor which is less crowded. From the second floor, you can go down to the train tracks or go up further to enjoy more attractions. The view from here is really cool. I decided to go up. This building was designed by an architect who also designed the Osaka Sky Building. It has a huge garden high in the air. This is an art object more massive than any other one. This escalator goes up endlessly. I feel like I'm going to touch the sky. This is the highest point of the station. 16 floors or 60 meters tall. House of Kyoto City. Unlike what people think of the ancient capital, it's an industrial area with modern buildings and warehouses. That is the headquarters of Nintendo. 50 years ago, it was a small family business that made playing cards. The Buddhist Pagoda is the tallest one in Japan. Those skyscrapers are in central Osaka. Even though we can see Osaka from Kyoto, the two cities have different cultures like food and language. The one in Japan's tallest building, it feels like skying on the downhill. I heard that a number of locals went against the building, a modern structure here, because it could damage the landscape of this traditional ancient capital. Kyoto has always had this argument. Keep the traditions or modern development. The tunnel is probably the skyway. We should check it out. Yes. I'm excited.
this is a department store. This floor is a reserve for ramen shops. They are from all over the country. This is a Toyama ramen, which has a unique black soup. They are a bit pricey and looking very good. It smells garlic. -y. This is a real Tonkotsu ramen shop chain from Hakata Kyushu. This powerful garlic smell is not from Japan's mainland. The noodle texture is tender. Soup is not too oily, unlike most legitimate Tonkotsu ramen shop in Hakata. The soup is a bit foamy, so it feels tender. I like this place. You can experience different types of ramen across Japan. I came to the lower floor only for pricey restaurants. This is a Moritaya, a very famous sukiyaki hot pot restaurant. They are known for their high quality beef as well as high prices. One hot pot is 8,000 yen. That sounds crazy, but people say it's worth it. You can also enjoy the nice views. This is a famous restaurant from Osaka. Look at the food samples. They are refined artworks. The pork cutlet are looking so good. If you get in at any place, you need to wait. This unagi eel bento box is interesting. This is an okonomiyaki place from Kyoto. The texture is super fluffy, which Osaka does not have. If you're looking to eat something very good, this is a place you should come. This is an entrance to Skyway. Look at that, Kyoto Tower. I can overlook the whole city. That is Atago Mountain, the highest peak in Kyoto City. They have built a massive Shinto shrine on top of it. That is Higashi Hongaji Temple. It's a huge wooden structure. That is the Kiyomizudera Temple area. This is footage that I took the other day. The rainbow was awesome. I think the air around here feels clean, which means it's quite high from the ground. Kyoto Tower is a weird structure in many ways. First, it stands on the building, not on the ground. Nobody thought that there would be a tower there, and they completed the building in 1959. Then, they found that a tower could be built on the building, so they started the construction, which was finished in 1963. The weird part of it is that there are no iron frames inside. It's like an airplane construction with shrimp. The outside wall sustains the whole structure. Believe it or not, many Kyoto locals did not want to kill the tower. Back then, people were allergic to modern things that could ruin the traditional landscape. They thought that no building taller than Buddhist pagoda should be constructed.
This is a famous green tea house from the Uji area of South Kyoto. You don't have to go there. You can enjoy their nice matcha sweets here. The waiting line extends outside souvenir shop. Why? Akafuku is a rice cake from the East Semie Prefecture, not Kyoto. Matcha sweets are so tan trendy. Aesthetics is a key to Kyoto confectionery. They are all Yatsuhashi, sweet wraps, the number one Kyoto souvenir for 40 years. Compared to candies, come in different colors. Portuguese traders brought it to Japan 500 years ago. They are looking so nice. I've never seen this before. Traditional sweets in showcases. They are all from prestigious confectioneries that date back to the 1700s or 1800s. Let's take a look at the Kintes trains going to Nara. Kyoto Station is a gateway to Nara, another ancient capital. You can meet real deer there. To get there, the Limited Express is the fastest, but you don't need to pay an extra fee. Regular Express train is just fine. Don't take JR train to Nara. It takes longer than Kintet's line and it costs you more money. This is the south of the station. Everything has changed a lot here. Before the pandemic, this area was old and even a bit sketchy at night. Kyoto City developed this area where you can find many affordable hotels ranging from 50 to 100 USD. Foreign friendly taxi is authorized by the government. You can only find them in Kyoto. The drivers speak English and accept multiple electric payments. What would you say if I tell you that tax drivers in Kyoto are notorious for their arrogant attitude? Most of them are very nice, but some are not. Most passengers are foreign travelers with large baggage. I heard that it takes one hour to get in a cab in summer. Mickey Mouse figurines. This is the Halloween version. The south side of the station has a huge souvenir shop area. This is an Osaka based tonkatsu restaurant chain. The tonkatsu is very popular. Deep fried oyster meal. There's a whole anagoy. They are looking very cute though. This sweet is the number one cute local favorite. It has a magical texture. Kit Kat with sake alcohol flavor. So many flavors. This is a roasted tea flavor. This is not an ordinary matcha. Takoyaki flavored prinos are only available in Kyoto and Osaka. This is an incense shop. These are aroma bags. You don't have to burn them. Amazing. They are all different aromas. Each has a symbolic name. This one is named 
Golden Pavilion. This is a family run business since the early 1600s. They make traditional fabric with nice prints. This is a sharp recommendation. They put matcha in anything and they sell a lot. It's weird. Pressed mackerel sushi is the number one specialty of Kyoto City, which doesn't face the sea at all. Temari sushi or hand sized bowl sushi are looking so nice. Wagyu bento. Dashimaki omelet is a specialty of Kyoto. Inoda Coffee is a Kyoto based coffee shop chain. It's full. Kyoto locals love drinking good coffee. They really do a lot more than green tea or matcha. No way. They're grinding green tea using the automated stone mill. They're all freshly packed teas. Even in the ancient capital, you still have an option for Italian food. Spaghetti come with many different flavors. Don't worry, McDonald's are everywhere in Japan. Crockett burger? No, the filling is gratin, not potato. It comes with a kind of a curry sauce in it. Let's take a look at the bus terminal. D2 is the most infamous bus stop in Japan. Bus 206 goes to Kiyomizura Temple and Gion Geisha District. How many people are lining up here? They can't all fit into a bus. In summer, the line is twice as long as this one. To avoid this mess, take the subway up to Shijo Street and then take any bus to get to Gion area. The public transportation in Central Kyoto is so miserable. There are only two subway lines which are essential for commuters from the suburbs. No trains, only buses are to connect between famous tourist spots. You can technically go to Arashiyama area by taking the 28 or 73 bus, which I don't recommend. You will waste your time in heavy traffic on weekends and get exhausted by the time you get there. Taking the JR Sagano line is the fastest way to Arashiyama. This is a one day pass vending machine. Actually, the city stopped selling it last summer. Now they have only one day pass for both the city subway and bus combined. Don't ever try to go to Fushimi Inari Shrine by bus. The traffic can be too heavy. In the first place, it only comes every 30 minutes. Take the JR Nala line from the Kyoto station. This is a JR bus, not the city bus. It goes to Byuanji Temple, the world healthiest site of Zen Garden. If you are going to Ginkakuji Silver Pavilion, take bus 5, which comes every 10 minutes. Travelers looking to visit Ginkakuji Golden Pavilion should wait at stop B3 to get on the bus 205. It comes frequently. Don't forget to wait at stop B3, catch one that goes clockwise. This is the ticket gate on the second floor. Track 30 is for Haruka Express train going to the International Airport in Osaka. For Arashiyama area, take any train at track 31, 
32 and 33. It's good that they come so frequently. This bakery is of high quality. It's a favor to be killed locals who are super picky about bread. Since JR Railway Company decided to run more trains on Sagano Line, the situation got better. It doesn't look like 13 cans. Let's take a look at the airport express on track 30. It has a cattle kitty on the head. They are foreigners. She is literally everywhere in Japan. You can take a Hello Kitty bridge train from the Shin Osaka station. It's time to look around the bridge trains. There are nice souvenir shops in the bridge train section. Japanese travelers buy souvenirs at the last minute in Kyoto. Japan still has a souvenir culture. Returning home, they give them everyone at their workplaces, which is a quite common practice. Train comes every five minutes. They run on the same tracks at the speed of nearly 300 km per hour. Don't worry. There have been no collision accidents ever since the bullet train opened up in 1963. This N700 Supreme is a brand new one. Every seat has an electric outlet, and the restaurants have beaded seats. We can buy a bento at the last minute before the train comes in. N700A doesn't have individual electric outlet or bidets. We have a 50 to 50 chance to ride Supreme. This vending machine has Yatsuhashi, the most popular Kyoto souvenir among young Japanese travelers. Nozomi is the fastest train that takes you to Tokyo in 2 hours and 10 minutes. Hikari trains stop at more stations in Nozomi. If you are traveling with Japan Railway Pass, this is the one you can ride. It's too bad that Hikari only comes every 30 minutes. Baskin and Robbins has 1200 locations in Japan, but this is one of few vending machines. Let's take a look at the trains for Fushimi Inari Shrine. If you're going to Nara, taking the key to this line can save time. This green train is a Miyakoji Express train, which takes you there in 15 minutes. Fushimi Inari Shrine is only 10 minutes from here. Don't take an express train. They don't stop at Fushimi Inari. This line also goes to the Tofukuji Temple and the Uji area. This is not a restaurant. This is a nursing room. People care about Japan's lower birth rate. Track 4 and 5 are for Osaka. Don't take rapid or local trains. It will take twice as long as a special rapid train. Why is a post box on the train track? This is 7 Eleven kiosk. Only vending machines. They have sandwiches and earning it rice balls. You can grab a quick bite one minute before the train comes. This is a soba and wooden noodle stand, which is quite common in Japan. They serve you in 30 seconds, 
and you can finish your meal in three minutes. Track zero. That is a common number in Japanese major train stations. There are express trains for Kanazawa. Hello Kitty has been around since the 70s. She is nowadays more popular than ever before. If you go to Kanazawa, ride a Thunderbird. It's getting dark. We're still halfway through though. Porta is the underground shopping arcade of the station. There are residents of Kyoto City Subway. It's been in debt for many years now and needs someone to appeal to more potential passengers. Let's get into Iseta, the most receive department store in Japan. Christmas is one week away. Although it's not as big as in Western countries, people buy a lot of guests to celebrate this special event. I like this presentation. It sounds like very Asian Japan. Let's see what the restaurant section is like. This shop serves the first Indian milk tea in Japan. They're pricey and they're worth it. Daruma Kushikatsu Skewer chain opened up its first location outside Osaka. There are some other restaurant chains from Osaka in this section. Kyoto is not open to culture from other cities, but that's not the case here. It's 7 p.m. now. I never thought that it would take a whole day to explore the train station. This restaurant is a favorite of Kyoto locals. This place is probably the only one in the world where visitors eat the tomato with a fork and knife. It's a little sweet and sour. They use the best tomato. Break the almond knife, boil back, and the nice aroma spreads all over the table. This hamburger steak is amazing. The sauce is nice. The potato is a little sweet and tender. That's awesome. They light up the stairs. This is a big attraction. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.